In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how we can use Alteryx and the DVW Alteryx connector for SAP to post GL account documents into an SAP system. Now, the SAP system, it could be an SAP ECC system or it could be an SAP s hana system. And specifically, we're going to make use of some of the SAP write capability that is now available as part of the DVW ACS. And within that, we're going to make use of uh, SAP BAPI technology to post those documents. Now, BAPI, uh, if it's not something you've come across before, is a very commonly used SAP technology uh, within the industry itself that enables any number of potential use cases to be supported through Alteryx uh, with the help of DVW. Um, we're going to use it here for posting, obviously, financial documents. Uh, this same BAPI, all these BAPIs can be used uh, to generate sales orders, notifications, change status of maybe a plant maintenance notification, and so on and so forth. So the uh, the potential use cases are really uh, virtually unlimited. Okay, so let's come to uh, my Alteryx system. And I've got a couple of examples here to show you. Um, what we're going to use here is a particularly commonly used BAPI uh, for document postings. It's a BAPI called BAPI ACC Document Post. It's available in all SAP systems. And using Alteryx and the DVW ACS, we're going to better post those uh, GL documents into SAP without any coding at all. All right, so let's just take a look at the orientation of the workflow. So on the left here, uh, I have some input files. Um, I'm going to use spreadsheet here, but this could be uh, another stream of, a, of, a, of the same workflow. We then in the middle have our SAP BAPI write tool. Uh, we also have the SAP BAPI pass tool. Uh, I'll explain that more in a second. And then on the outbound side, uh, I'm using uh, a regex tool uh, just to further um, separate uh, the, the output provided from SAP and something which is really immediately useful to us. All right, so let's take a look to start with at the SAP BAPI write tool. So here we go. If I click on the, the, the tool itself, um, in the left-hand side of the screen here, uh, you can see we have a series of parameters. We have a search function where we can search for any BAPIs uh, that are available to you in your particular SAP system. Uh, this could be standard BAPIs or custom BAPIs. Uh, we also support the use of RFC-enabled function modules as well using the same tool. So the scope uh, for, for, for updating data um, into SAP from Alteryx using this technology is really is really vast. And when we've selected, <coughs> excuse me, the particular uh, BAPI you're interested in, then the metadata associated with that BAPI is retrieved into the uh, parameters tab here. And we can see. Uh, we have a few sections uh, of data available to us. Firstly, we have this import section. Right Now, virtually all BAPIs will have some level of, of import section, a minimum amount of data that needs to be provided in order for the BAPI to be processed successfully. Um, we also have, in this particular scenario, some tables. This particular BAPI uh, covers a whole number of, of finance uh, document posting use cases. So it could be a straightforward GL uh, document posting, like we're going to do here in this demonstration. Uh, it could be uh, an accounts payable or an accounts receivable type of posting too. And the, the sort of tables we need to provide data to will, will vary according to the particular scenario. And then we will also have uh, what's called a return parameter. And what the return parameter is, is effectively, it's the message that's returned from SAP once the BAPI is processed. Okay. All right. So this particular use case and this particular BAPI requires the entry of uh, three main tables of data. One of those is called the document header, all right? And within my workflow here, I'm providing the document header data that I want to use uh, to post the GL document through this strand of the workflow. We're also going to utilize the account GL table, and this second strand uh, is providing that. And we're also finally going to provide, uh, what's it got now? Here we go, the, the currency amount as well, okay? And this third strand of the workflows providing that data. Okay, so let's come back to the header uh, table again. Um, what you can see on the bottom part of the screen here is on the left hand side, we have all the fields that are available to us within that particular table for that particular BAPI, right? And on the right hand side, uh, what I'm doing here is we're mapping the fields that we're providing through this strand to the fields utilized or required by, by the BAPI. Now, if you align the namings between, <coughs> excuse me, between the two, then we can use this auto function here, and this mapping will take place automatically for you. 
Okay. And I've done that for each of the tables that I want to provide data to. Okay. And as long as you provide data in the format that's required by the BAPI, and it's quite straightforward to do it, then the BAPI will process. Okay. So I've done it for each. What I've also done here is I've utilized our BAPI pass tool. Reason being, I run this one just a little while ago, and you'll see the output from the standard SAP BAPI is this kind of format. And yes, I could utilize some of the standard Altrix tools to clean this up, but we'll do this directly uh, within the uh, BAPI, uh, BAPI pass tool itself. So all I've done here, if I, I've selected um, the, the table that provides the return parameter, in this case, the success message, right, and selected that, and then the output from that is provided in a, in a much more convenient format. There's a slight quirk in terms of the GL postings themselves, insofar as the, the message for the document that's posted looks a little bit like this. And this comprises the document number, the company code into which it's posted, and also the fiscal year. So in the last part of the workflow, I've just used the regex tool here to tidy up that output even further and generate the document output for me. So here we can see I have a document number uh, 1, letter 0466, in company code 1710 in fiscal year 2020. So if I come to my SAP system, uh, take a look at that. You can see we have an account document that's been posted. Right, now, what you may have noticed is this particular workflow, I've only actually posted one document. So a lot of BAPIs are sort of single shot only. Uh, post one document, um, create one sales order, that type of thing. All right, so that's okay for some scenarios, but the majority of scenarios, if we're going to really leverage Alteryx, we want to be able to do mass postings of this type of data. So let me take you to the second workflow then. So the starting point is I converted um, this particular workflow here into a macro workflow. So I have my inputs and my outputs. The rest of the workflow is, is basically the same as the one I've just shown you. And then I have this main workflow, which is doing all the work for me and pulling things together. So if I look at the inputs here, you can see now that I'm able to post multiple different documents in one hit. Okay, I've just got 10 here, just to give us an example, but multiple documents in one hit. And what's going to happen now then is when I run this particular workflow, it'll drip feed each of those combination of entries into the BAPI for me. So I could have any number of um, posting jail documents to be posted, provided into this particular workflow, and I'll just keep churning through them until everything's been processed. Again, if I, I run this previously, you can see here that we've created all my various financial documents. Okay. So I think the scope for this is huge. Right. Um, I think GL account document postings is a major headache for a lot of people. A lot of this is done manually or using uh, other tools maybe uh, ABAP codes have been written to sort of support this. But I think using Altrex DVW ACS really puts you in control of the process. And although I'm using spreadsheet inputs here, I think, again, where this becomes really, really useful to us is when we start building other parts of the workflow to actually feed, feed the inputs into the BAPI directly for us. I hope you found this useful. Thanks.